Hello, welcome back. Today, my topic is all about pearls. Pearl jewelry in particular. The question is, is pearl jewelry worth buying? Do you love pearls? I do. Every woman loves pearls, I know. And real pearls set in gold with diamonds are classic addition to any jewelry collection. I do love pearls, although, you know, I only have a few pieces or sets in my collection, but I'm thinking of adding a bit more, not just, well, not as an investment that would bring me money or profit in return, but for me, what's important is wearing and enjoying its beauty, and by choosing with good judgment, a pearl jewelry is an investment to cherish before passing it on to the future generations unless very very rare and historical pearls do not add up in value i'm sorry to say like gold or diamonds but they retain their special place within families and taken care it will last a few lifetimes to make sure your pearls keep their value always take good care of them Keep pearls away from chemicals such as perfume, hairspray, and alcohol. I also would like to share with you important things to consider what to look for when buying pearls. And these are based on my research, buying experience, you know. Um, I'm going to show you in a while some of the pearls i purchased recently so this will be an unboxing video as well now first we have two kinds of uh, pearls the natural pearls and cultured pearls natural pearls are so rare to find which make them so expensive and a natural pearl is formed organically when an irritant finds itself inside the oyster's soft tissue muscle accidentally Hmm, interesting the irritants such as sea water sand or dust activates the oysters defense mechanism causing it to produce layers of secretions which slowly develops into a natural pearl cultured pearls on the other hand are considered real pearls as well but the irritant is purposely placed inside oysters through human intervention so the main difference between a natural and cultured pearl is the way the secretion process begins. With natural pearls, the process takes place in the ocean without human intervention, whereas cultured pearls require the assistance of pearl farmers to begin the nacre forming process. Let's talk about the four major types of cultured whole pearls. Cultured, because they're the ones we see in the market uh, nowadays, the naturals, I doubt if you can see them still. So the first are the Akoya pearls. The Akoya pearls are produced both by Japan and China. And the next is the Tahitian pearls. They are cultivated primarily around the islands of French Polynesia. While the third one is South Sea pearls. Australia, Indonesia, and the Philippines are leading sources of these saltwater pearls. The last one is the freshwater pearls. China is the leading source, and these pearls are the least expensive uh, pearls in the world. So, the value of a pearl depends on different factors such as, number one, the cast. Cast. Pearls come in different shades, so if you want it uh, white it should be real white and not light or off-white if your pearl is yellow it should be a very saturated yellow so number two is the shape you have to consider your pearls uh, shape entirely round pearls have higher resale value and number three is the size so the bigger sizes you have you get more resale value than smaller ones. Number four is the surface condition. The lesser the flows, the better. These are fish bites and scratches. Number five is luster. So the more irradiant a pearl, 
illuminates, the higher its resale value. And of course, before you buy pearls, always make sure that you purchase from a reputable or legit source and that your jewelry comes with a certificate of authenticity. And speaking of that, I have here, as promised, some pieces that I'm going to show you which we are going to unbox together right now. So this first item that I'm going to show you is from Shamarin Pearls and Jewelry. So that's the supplier and I bought from them because I've read so many good reviews about them. They're one of the most reasonably priced pearl suppliers. So I'm going to put their links in the description box below so you can check if you are interested because it would be a great addition uh, to your collection. Now this is the box. It's so pretty. And this is the certificate of authenticity. It looks like so. This is called the uh, bracelet with pearl charms. Isn't it beautiful? The bracelet has five pieces of classic white South Sea pearls. The sizes of these South Sea pearls uh, range from 13.1 to 13.9 mm. The chain is in 18 karat yellow gold and I do love the design. It's really really gorgeous. The pearls are very very shiny which I really love and the colors are very white. So they're true white. So beautiful. Very classy, very elegant. And I was able to talk or chat with them. But they're very nice, they're very accommodating. They replied to my questions quickly with patience of course and they also gave me some freebies like this pair of pearl earrings they're just small but flawless the color is creamy white yeah I think this is creamy white so let's try them on as well so here are the pearl earrings, they're very cute, very classy, what do you think guys? Thank you so much uh, Shamrin for the free earrings, this is not sponsored by the way guys and of course I also received a free bracelet charm. more pieces I'm going to show you came from another supplier called Love of Pearls the first item is this piece right here uh, the gold ring with diamonds it's made of uh, 14 karat yellow gold with a 0.630 carats uh, diamonds and it weighs 5.62 grams only I think it's beautiful and it's perfect for everyday wear as well I had to resize this one because the original size was 7 yeah 7 and now it's 8 because that's my actual size it's still a bit loose all right nice love it well this is not a ring pearl because we're talking about pearl today I just want to show this to you because I purchased them together with the pearls I just love it so this one is a pearl of earrings it's a South Sea pearl earrings I really love the color it's called avocado green I love the luster very shiny and clean 
Yes, I can see a fish bite here. It's not very visible, but if you look closely, you can see that there's a fish bite. And I also noticed that the lock is like flexible. So it's my first time to see a lock like this. They're very flexible. The setting is in 18 karat yellow gold. So here's how the earrings look like on me. Next is this. This one is a dainty yellow gold necklace in 18 karat gold. And the chain is, sorry for the noise, is uh, 18 inches in length. It has this gorgeous South Sea pearl pendant in the color golden. The pearl shape is round. It's very, very cute. I picked this color to match the earring and ring set. Just put it here. Because the necklace that came with it, with, with that set was lost already. So I decided to buy a replacement. I don't see any flaws in the pendant or in the pearl. It's also very shiny. This type of chain, by the way, is called dancing chain. And the setting is known as floating necklace. So, so elegant. So the last piece is this stained necklace. I don't know why they call it stained. This one is so stunning. It's a long one. I think this is uh, 18 inches yeah it's 18 inches and it's in 18 karat yellow gold and you know i love yellow <laughs> it has five beautiful south sea pearls in the color white the size of each pearl probably this is 12 because this one is 13.1 to 13.9 the surface of the pearls are very smooth i love that they're very shiny and heavy so the quality I don't see fish bites or, or scratches so they're quite very nice it looks like so what do you think guys isn't this beautiful they call the chain Tauco design this necklace is great for layering if you are the type of person who loves to layer. I just think this goes well with any outfit from formal to casual. You'll probably see me wearing this in my future videos. I love it. It's very, very cute. They also gave me a freebie, which is, I believe, a necklace. It's in the color avocado green nice <laughs> this is free guys but again it's not a sponsored video these are by the way the certificate of authenticity they're very small so i can't read them to you in here all the details of the pearls or the jewelry are written and that's it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you did uh don't forget to give me a thumbs up and for questions, suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you on my next one.